Have you ever been in the pet store and you're looking at the hamster cages and maybe you're questioning whether or not the cage you're looking at is going to be big enough for your hamster and either a pet store employee or your friend or family member says to you, that would be like having a mansion for your hamster. Well, I'm here to prove them wrong. I want to start off by thanking Dogs Hamsters on Instagram who helped me with all of this math and explained it to me as I am not a math genius. She also has done her own post on this same topic, so please make sure to go check that out. So for this example, I am going to be choosing a dwarf hamster for the size, typically because a lot of people will assume because they are a dwarf hamster that they can live in something smaller because it's going to seem bigger to them. So if a dwarf hamster is on average 3 inches long and 1.5 inches wide, then we can estimate they take up around 4.5 square inches of floor space. Now the enclosure I've chosen is one of the PetSmart's best sellers, which is the Tiny Tails Comfy House Cage. And since I've personally been able to measure the internal measurements of this enclosure, I know that it is 10 inches wide and 15.5 inches long, giving you 155 square inches of floor space. To figure out how many dwarf hamsters could fit in this cage, we just had to divide 155 by 4.5, which gives us 34.4 dwarf hamsters could fit in this cage. To calculate for a human, measuring my own shoulder width, I am 15.4 inches wide. And to make things easier, we will just say I take up 246 square inches of floor space when standing. So now if we take 246 multiplied by 34.4, you can figure out how large this size of enclosure would be for a human. So we can come to the conclusion that the Tiny Tails Comfy House Cage would be an equivalent to a 58.7 square foot room. First things first, I need to clear out this room. Let's use our handy dandy green tape and let's measure out our house. Oh my goodness. Oh. No, they're so close though. Here we have it. <laughs> this is my new house. So now that I've got my home all measured out, I'm going to have to fill my home with the basic human necessities, things like my bed. Um, entertainment, somewhere for me to be able to exercise, um, other bits and bobs that I would like to fill my home with. Probably somewhere maybe to eat. We'll see what we can fit. I'm gonna start off by adding myself a twin bed into here. I currently sleep on a full-size bed, but I would prefer to just have the smallest bed in my home because we're working with not a lot of space. Okay, a twin bed is on average 38 inches wide. They are 74.5 inches long. That's pretty good. Look at my bed. Throw a pillow on there. Okay, so that's a pretty important aspect of having a room. We got the bed. Um, I'm going to add in some kind of exercise equipment because that's going to be pretty important inside of my house. We got a little kettlebell, dumbbell. So that's for exercising. Um, I personally like for entertainment playing video games and also watching TV. So I'm going to go ahead and add that into my house. Where does my TV go? Oh, probably the end of my bed. That would make sense. I could like sit on my bed. Oh, I did not step on that. So two other things that I would consider to be pretty important when it comes to just basic human needs is probably a fridge and probably a toilet. 
I'm gonna say those two are pretty high up on the list. So I'm gonna measure out somewhere to place those. Boop. There, I got a mini fridge. Now I have to look up the average size of a toilet. Okay, well, we're putting the toilet all the way over here because I don't want a toilet by my fridge. Cool, I have a toilet now. Plants are something that I also enjoy like looking after and doing, so those are something that would go into my home. Sadie, you can't just walk straight through a wall. Some other things for human enrichment that I like to do is uh, painting. This was a paint by number I did, and then uh, puzzles. I enjoy doing puzzles, so. We're also gonna have those things in my house so I don't get bored. I'm, I'm thinking this is looking pretty good. This is pretty much, this is pretty much my house. So um, let me give you a tour. So welcome to my crib. Starting off, we are in the bedroom. So you can snooze here to our right. You ever just want to grab a snack while you're sleeping? We got that. And also from bed, we are capable of playing uh, our games. We got the TV here. Um, we also have the cat outside of our home, who's quite annoying. We've got the PlayStation to play some games. We've also got some um, puzzles and painting to do. If we come over here, we've got some workout equipment to keep fit and exercised. Otherwise, our muscles may just go into atrophy from not moving. Um, and then we have a plant beside the toilet so that it kind of can suck up any of the bad stuff. So that's our home. These are nuts. I don't like nuts. You're in my mini fridge. be thinking is hey my room already is that size but this isn't just a room this is supposed to be my entire home this is supposed to fit everything that I need to be able to survive and the difference between a human living in a small home and a hamster living in a small home is that me as a human I can walk right out that door anytime I want I don't have to stay in my home. I don't have to stay in my room. I can leave. I can go to other people's houses. I can go to the store. I can go to the park. I can travel across the world. Your hamster doesn't get that. Your hamster's cage is their entire home and they don't have the freedoms to just leave their home whenever they want to. It is quite literally their entire world because the only time they get to go out and explore the world is when you allow them to do that. And that is why having a large enclosure for your hamster is so important. You need to be able to fit all of these enrichments to keep your hamster stimulated and happy and active. Keep in mind, if I were to live into this space, wasn't allowed to leave ever, and only these things were in my home, I would become severely bored. I already do become severely bored in a home that I am allowed to leave. So try and imagine that for your hamster who has the same things all the time and is forced to be happy with it. So the next time somebody tells you that small enclosure at the pet store is like a mansion to a hamster, feel free to refer them to this video or feel free to use the math to show them that 
it is nothing like a mansion. I really, really hope this video has been able to open some people's eyes when it comes to hamster cages and why the small pet store cages just, they don't cut it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully I won't be living in this space much longer because I will go insane. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye! taking so long to load. I've been sitting here like unloading the screens for like 10 minutes. Good video. Great. Love it. Hey, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, get you one way or another. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, get you one way or another.